Good morning, everyone. It is quarter past nine. I'm about to give mum a call and then Ash and I will have the app open. I've got the app open to see what job. To see what jobs come our way. It's Friday. Let me get it. I'll hang out myself. Hey, thanks for the talk. I watched. I said, don't watch Neighbours today, Sue, because you put your makeup on again and you don't want to be in tears. So I decided to watch classic Emmerdale. Well, uh, yeah, I got a text. Uh, he's barely lived <laughs> before. He's already made friends. They, oh, um, I don't know if anybody watched Cor uh, uh, Emmerdale from years and years ago. Well, I say years ago. It was 2000, 2001. Um, they had to put a little Yorkie down. Thanks for and the woman was in so bits, obviously, to? as I was nice when I I we had to put Roxy yeah, down. I and I was hugging Roxy the way she was hugging her little dog in the show. So I'm like, great yeah, memory. <laughs> Wipe the face, get the makeup on, and turn it off. So I had to turn it off. I mean, it ended right on that scene. But anyway, I'm going to go give my mum a call. Hopefully, have a bit of a laugh. And then Ash and I will be on our way. It was very dull when we woke up, but now it looks beautiful and sunny. Got up here, but not one of them. I got a bunch ready to go out. So we will get these delivered today while I'm doing errands. They said it was humid today. It's beautiful. Hopefully, it stays like this for the next few hours anyway. Okay guys, we finally found Miss Luna a plastic pool that won't collapse. Um, but they won't deliver it or send it to a store near us, so we're gonna go pick it up. We only go into Greenwich, Old Greenwich, on Sound Beach Avenue, where Sheffy lives. We've been up there many times doing taste, uh, taste Free Simple orders, actually. Been there doing Instacart orders. So yeah, I've got Taste Free Simple on the brain. Thank you, Bob, for your order. I did see it. That's amazing. I appreciate you doing that. And uh, sorry you had to find me. It didn't come up under my name on the website. But I appreciate you spending the time to look for me. And that's a different way in. So. Lisa's house now, Sheffy's. Because when we first came to her, she had a party. Dad and I had to come park down in the church because it said we could park along here or in the church. Okay, so we just shopped one for Ash, which happens to be our old faithful in Greenwich or Old Greenwich or Upper Greenwich or Riverside anyway. 
it's the one where right around the corner they're building Ashley's new house that we check on now and again. But yeah, so we're heading out. Hopefully we won't be held up too long because we've got an ice cream cake in there. But where are you going, lady? You're still red. soon we can just come right here for Scarsdale so we're going to go deliver Ashes first and then we're going to go deliver mine. Two small shops but worth it because one shop each. So I, I was the one getting in everybody's way today. <laughs> that guy was laughing though. He's like probably like a silly old bird. <laughs> oh dear. It's not too bad though. It's not busy in there at all. I'll just hang it over my bag. Yeah. It's not busy in there at all. It's nice. If we can keep doing that, that that make me happy. Okay, we're almost at Ashley's. We're a minute away. If I didn't say we're in Scarsdale, where we come quite often, and the young kid from Stranger Things lives. That where are you, Noah? At his graduation. When was it, Ash? A couple of days ago. Yesterday. Yesterday. So Ash is a huge fan of Stranger Things. I am not. Um, his character has the same birthday as me in the show. <laughs> so Ash saw on his feed yesterday that he was at his own graduation, which is here in Scarsdale. So, yes. 
Oh my giddy, I'm funny. You are. They got some beautiful. They did all the way out, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the back says Longos Park. Like, okay. Yeah, they got Delivered Mind, also Scarsdale, which wasn't far from Ashley, it's about two and a half miles. So now we're going to head back to Wigman's. Just passed an ice cream truck, guys, because the house was opposite a park and the ice cream man just came, but I don't have any cash. Otherwise, we could have sat in the car and had ice cream <laughs> like two big kids. gonna go up to the high school because it's graduation and I promised my four girls from yearbook that I would come and see them. Pete's here doing pictures, I'll explain that later. You can hear the music as they're marching in. Organizing for graduation and distributing By the State of New York, by the Board of Regents, and the State Education Department in Albany. And by the Board of Education of Port Free School District. I now pronounce you graduates of Portchester High School. today we enjoyed the ceremony very much I got to see my Camilla she come over I said I texted her that we were there and then later on I'm like I'm at the flagpole if you get a second because I know it's all about the family but she came over got a hug she said we missed you the whole year we talked about you and I said keep in touch won't you via text she said yes and I said, if you change your number, she goes, I'll text you the new one. I was like, okay, good. <laughs> Not too needy or anything, but yeah. she was with us from freshman and I love her so much. I didn't see the other girls because they were all scattered. So, And then we went over to see Pete because like I said, Pete was asked to do the pictures yesterday because the photographer, I don't think the photographer's coming back from the sounds of it. No. And three people come up and said, so glad you guys are here. Because Ash and I are still part of memorable moments anyway. We still work with them. But Pete's got a moustache and a beard. Mm -hmm. um, we were asked him about I said, holy Maine. <laughs> I said, he lives in Maine. I don't mean it in a bad way. <laughs> no, he just looks mountain man in his hair. It's bright because he he's been having you cut his hair or buzz his hair. Yeah. So I guess he'll get fed up of it because he does. He kept Especially playing with it the, the whole time. But he knew. It's going to get itchy. Because the minute we walked up, he started smirking. I said, what the beeping hell have you done to your face? <laughs> We had a quick chat. I, anything I wanted to say that I would have said in text that I've been not really wanting to bring up, I did in a blah, blah, blah kind of way. I hired my maternity photographer. Yeah. A newborn A new, newborn photographer. He said, we only want you to do it. Because his rates are going up. I said, for your grandson, they do not. I must admit, I, and I will always say this, and I've always said it, Pete is the best photographer around. And having parents coming up saying, thank God you're here, Pete, and thank God you guys are here. It was nice because, you know, a lot of them, their kids were seniors this year and we've done all their other kids and this photographer was absolute crap. I mean, not one person is happy. So there's even people asking if they would, people redo their senior pictures um, and they'll pay Pete to do it because they don't like the pictures, so. Anyway, we're going to go get some food and then we're going to call it a night. It's quarter to nine now, so we are going to love and leave you for this evening. Baby Ashton says goodnight. Are you going to say goodnight? Good night.
We hope everyone had a brilliant, brilliant Friday, whatever it is you did today. We hope it was a good one and we'll definitely see you tomorrow. Take care guys and stay safe.